there is no advanced restart button in this ROM hence I am using volume up power power button and volume up button press them simultaneously until it boots into recovery first you will get a POCO logo then you can remove the finger on power button and continuously press the volume up button again you will receive a haptic feedback then you can remove the other finger too here we go this is the latest available TWRP for POCO X you go to wipe section and select advanced wipe and select Dalvi catch and data and swipe here to wipe it once that has done go to home section and select install and select storage and select the micro SD card and select the ROM zip files or wherever you downloaded everything you need to select that first flash the firmware 12.5.5.0 global firmware flash it done again go to home section here and select install and select the ROM zip file dubface 12 official Shinju Surya 410 as you can see this is the latest build available for POCO X3 you can see here April 10th build date and April security patch with Android 12L it takes a little bit of time to flash the ROM wait until it gets flashed as you can see the ROM zip file has been flashed successfully go to home section here again and select wipe and select format data and type here YES and press this tick button done again go to home section and select reboot and select system this is how the flashing method for dubfest OS Shinju for POCO X3 latest available build for POCO X3 in this video we will be going to see in detail regarding this ROM like benchmark results and to benchmark geek bench and even the BGM gameplay in Sanok even with TDM lot more will be discussed regarding this particular ROM as you can see it's booted into dubfest ROM let's begin this video Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is Sampath you are watching Sampath SamFX POCO X3 custom ROM reviews here we go it's an Android version 12L not 12.1 official Shinju Surya 4th 10 I mean 10th April latest build available and you can see here 5th April 2022 latest security patch also available for POCO X3 and with kernel version 4.14.275 Ceylon T kernel, kernel has been used and Ceylon status is enforcing i have been running the cpu throttling test from last 6 minutes and 11 seconds and you can see here the maximum is 148 and average is 142 and minimum is 91 which is pretty good and it's thermo throttle to 93 percent of its max performance that's how it is and let me show the benchmark results here we go with antidote benchmark result first 3 lakh 7 like 7301 it's not 3 lakh 70 thousand or anything like that that's really not that great compared to any other ROMs and 1 degree Celsius has been raised during this testing and 2 percentage of battery drop has been noticed during this and to testing let me uninstall this it will simply take a background processing that's why I will uninstall that and let's see the Geekbench scores here it's also not that good I don't know why it's degraded as you can see the single score is 416 and multi score is 1462 and the kernel used here is links 4.14.275 silent kernel as i said before and uh, let's see the dialer here before that let me increase the volume i mean keep to general mode okay and there is no sound for this i don't know okay and there is a direct video call feature is available in this room and call recording feature is also available but other person will notify that you are recording the call that kind of call recording has been installed in this particular ROM and regarding widgets it's available as you can see clock widgets you can drag here to have a widget that's fine and a tall style but there is no let me show you here and wallpaper and style you get no wallpapers have been pre-installed here that's how it is and there is no android 12.1 like widget which you see in 12.1 style like whenever you swipe here the wallpaper gets changed itself that kind of options are missing here and into settings you get these kind of options app drawer settings home screen settings and icons and there are miscellaneous settings also you can customize them and this is how the quick settings panel you get and power button here advanced restart button you can enable manually and into edit section you get all these options as you can see that's how it is 
and this regarding screen recording option you get both device audio and microphone simultaneously you can record that that option is also present and flashlight dark theme let me show you the dark theme i enabled dark theme i mean as you can see it's pitch black condition you need to do some settings to get this kind of pitch black dark mode i'll tell you within a second and by the way if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like and let's see the dub space here you get all the customization available as you can see battery settings you can change the battery style from here and battery percent and battery bar location also you can enable from here and carrier labor also there are plenty of options here you can see clock and date settings you can adjust status bar items you can enable or disable some of the these status bar items from here and traffic indicator is given in this room there is customization regarding that also and miscellaneous you get dubfest logo here you can see here and color icons bluetooth battery status and 4g volt icon and you can customize them or enable or disable from here icon style you can change from here some of the things you can see here mic and camera privacy indicator you can enable or disable from here even locus location privacy indicator these two which are you see in quick settings panel those things you can enable or disable from here that's how it is and in the miscellaneous settings i already explained it just swipe here you get notification settings again here also plenty of customizations are available here kill app button force expand notification notification count annoying notification notification vibrations those things you can enable or disable from here and reticker require system you are restart this how options you can change here and vibrate on connect call waiting disconnect you can enable or disable from here into the quick settings you get smart pull down you can adjust these things and QS pull down and battery estimation required unlocking to use sensitive tiles music tile track tile and QS footer text you can enable or disable these things here you can see some of the options animation style is also given vibrate on touch on QS panel if you want you can enable or disable from here if you swipe again like this you get lock screen settings nothing great here just simple customization lock screen UI you get plenty of customization as you can see media art is also given you can default and make it change from here adjust the blur level and ambient always on display is given working fine no problem music tracker is also given and if you swipe once again you get customization here monet engine you need to turn on this use black theme then only you get a pitch black condition whenever you apply a black i mean dark mode and custom color also you can choose from here already kept navy blue if you want you can keep anything or you can disable that based on wallpaper it will take its own custom color for icons and shades accurate shades and a colorfulness you can adjust from here if you come back here again headline body font icon pack wi-fi icon signal icons icon shape you can customize those things also pulse is also given navigation pulse as you can see if you enable some of the things you get lot more customization you can enable those things if you want and general setting this is very important also on banish is there is no like uh, unlock high fps in gaming mode like whatever we see in evolution x ancient os and even cr droid those kind of roms have that option but why dubfest is not adding that option i don't know this how it is and uh, unlimited google google photo storage is given here if you enable this you will get unlimited google photo storage in google photos application and there are some of the options here that's all you will get no gaming mode there is a gaming mode in app settings default apps if you want to choose certain app as for example if you want to keep true color as a dialer instead of phone app you can do from here and plenty of options here given and game space this is the little bit gaming mode you can call some of the options you can restrict here but not a full-fledged gaming mode has been given in this rom special app access plenty are given you can adjust them here also and into notification you get conversation bubbles and this sensitive notification notification locks in plenty of options here enhanced notification is also given into battery into battery usage it hasn't been recorded but it was around 97 percent now it's 87 percent with certain i set up the device and run the, all the 
benchmark results and the downloaded bgma it took like this the battery of is going to be good enough not bad and there is a use pixel battery status provider you can enable here and the battery server extreme battery server has been implemented here this is only available in pixel experience room and this particular room and pixel os unofficial build has been received for poco x3 i will be doing it very soon i have one rom also to do the c android 8.4 i know that i will definitely do those roms and battery temperature you can see idle manager you can block sensors and adaptive batteries also given here battery life is going to be good enough let me show you the charging animation hence i talked about battery life charging rapidly is coming definitely it's charging in as you can see it's charging in 33 watt charger if you want you can use this 10 watt charger i don't think so anyone uses that 10 watt charger to slow charge that's how it is and uh, coming to sound settings you get direct sound settings as you can see you enable this you can choose headphone type and preset from here that's how it is haptic feedback you can adjust the intensity that's really good and clear speaker option also given and some of the vibration and haptic settings you can change here as you can see some of the patterns are given if you want you can choose some among them that's how it is and coming to display settings you get adaptive brightness extra dim feature live display lock screen screen on timeout dark theme as i said before you need to enable that in dark space then only you'll get pitch black condition and smallest width you can choose here and font size that's simple thing nothing great here night light also you can adjust the intensity and colors by default it kept adaptive which is not good keep it boosted and minimum refresh rate maximum refresh rate and there is a show refresh rate option as you can see I don't think so it's showing actual refresh rate it's going from 120 to directly 60 not in between not a dynamic refresh rate happening here in this particular rom and refresh rate per app also you can choose from here additional display features you get this kind of high brightness mode and cabc mode has been given here that's how it is into security options let me show you accessibility menu is missing here as you can see i don't know why they miss out that and security settings you get face unlock and finger pen unlock and even the app unlock is given and smart lock you can see here encryption and credential it is encrypted and 6 into 6 pattern is also available that also many people ask about that that's how it is the actual refresh rate you can see here if you leave it it goes to 60 if you swipe it it come back to 120 it's not a dy dynamic refresh rate and coming to apps you get this kind of i have installed this arno build gcam if you want you can use any other gcam ports this will work fine with ultra wide angle support also if you don't want such an advanced things there is a pre-installed google go camera you can use here latest one this is google go camera and anx camera support is not available for dub space or any custom roms and at all for poco x i don't know when it gets supported and coming to safety and status here it might get yes it get passed you can use all the payment applications like google pay google maps all the things are working fine whatsapp my geo all the things you can use as a daily driver you can run the smartphone and speed tests are also working fine even with mobile internet data connection carrier aggregation there is no problem regarding that also and drm info you get level 1 certification you can watch all the audit application in hd resolution that's not the problem and let's see the bgma gameplay before that i will show you the face unlock as you can see it's quick enough to unlock your smartphone as you can see it's very quick and this is the fingerprint unlock as you can see this is also very quick this is the one thing i like in dubfest and there is performance is also very good in this particular rom and battery life is also going to be very good if you use for long time it's going to adjust regarding the battery and let me go into bgm and see what all the graphic settings definitely you get smooth plus ultra only no extreme or 90 fps like we get in other roms like evolution x ancient os and cr red they add that option to enable high fps count but it is not available in this particular rom regarding graphic settings as you can see smooth plus ultra is given here maximum if you want you can keep hd plus high but i recommend to play in smooth plus ultra only if you know how to enable higher fps count you can do that by transferring file method or even using gfx tool that will make really difference in gameplay especially in bgmi call of duty it is fine many people asking about show the call of duty gameplay also comment down guys in the comment section if you have majority of the people want to see that gameplay also i will definitely include that that's not the problem and the loudness is also fine enough 
and this is the volume panel you get and at 12 l it is not 12.1 Here we go into boot camps and device is cool enough, not getting warm. Compared to previous version, slightly the benchmark results are little bit lower. That I don't mind, but anyhow i need to mention it out as you can see there is a slight lag here okay it was totally lag and again with same graphic settings smooth plus ultra let's see how it handles in tdm it was laggy in sanok Okay, I'll come back. I hope you understood the performance in BGMA. If you play for a long time, it will get warm. That's quite obvious. But 40 FPS is fine, not that much warm. If you play in 90 FPS, it will get warm. And coming to verdict, you can use it as a daily driver. But if you are in older version, don't update it. Stay in that version only. I mean, the first official version, whatever the older version, be in that only. It's not that great in this particular version. The old version was a little bit better compared to this one. Wait for one more build, then let's decide. That's how it is. Uh, I hope I explained everything. And RAM management is also fine enough, not a problem here. As you can see, it's booted out of memory. That's quite obvious. It was opened a hour back. That's how it is. And uh, that's all guys in this video. If you like the video, give it a like. And if you're still not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button down below. And also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon. Thank you for watching this video. Let's meet with another interesting video. Until that, keep smiling. Bye bye for now.